In this video, I will show you how to install Visual Studio. So let's go to the browser and let's type Visual Studio. Let's go to the first link. Then here we can either use this download button or we can use this button. So here let's click on community and let's save the installer. So I will save it on the desktop. So this is the installer of Visual Studio. Let's run it. Then here let's click on continue. So because I already installed Visual Studio, I have this window. But if this is the first time you install Visual Studio, then you should obtain the window that we obtain when we click on modify. So you should obtain this window. So in this window, we need to select the options that we need. So to create web applications with ASP.NET Core, we need to select this option, which is ASP.NET and Web Development. And of course, you can select additional options. For example, in my case, I selected this option that allows me to create mobile applications and this option that allows me to create a desktop applications with .NET. Then we can select install while downloading, then we can click on modify. So because I already installed these components, I don't have the modify button, instead I have the close button. Then after the successful installation, we can run Visual Studio. So let's do a search and here let's type Visual Studio. Let's click on this application. Then let's create a new project. Then here let's select C Sharp and let's select Web. And we should obtain these options. So to create a web application with ASP.NET Core, we can select this option, which is ASP.NET Core Web Application with Razor Pages, or we can select this one to create a web API. And also we can select this option, ASP.NET Core Web Application with MVC. So if you don't have these options, then we can scroll down and let's click on Install More Tools and Features. Then in this window, we need to check that this component is selected and installed. If it is not, then we need to install it. Now let's select ASP.NET Core Web Application with Razor Pages, then Next. And let's call this project Web Application 2, for example. So it will be created at this path and the solution name by default will have the same name as the project name. Of course, we can change the name of the solution. Let's click on Next. So here we can select the version 8 of the .NET framework. Let's use HTTPS. So let's check this box. Then let's click on Create. So now the project is created successfully. Let's close this page and let's display the project. So to run this application, we can use this button. And we obtain this window because we are using HTTPS. So here we can click on Don't Ask Me Again. Then let's click on No, for example. So we obtain this alert because the certificate that is used by the HTTPS protocol is not recognized by the browser. So we can click on Advanced, then accept the risk and continue. So we obtain this application. Now to close the solution, we can click on File, then Close Solution. 